Hey everyone, welcome back to How Stuff in My Car Works. This is Jade, and I'm going to be talking about the basic principles of a carburetor. So I was born in the 90s, and carburetors weren't installed in new cars at that time. So um, for people born in my time, we probably don't even know what a carburetor does and how it was made. And so because it's so unique, I wanted to share this information with you. So I'm going to keep it simple and not complex for you guys, and I'm just going to be talking about the three main principles. So the Venturi effect is named after the guy who invented it, and it's basically um, the idea of airflow, and then when it gets restricted, it goes faster, and then when it passes through, then it goes back to its original form. So next is the pressure differential, and it's basically the physics of gas or liquid, which is affected by two different pressures, the high going to the low. So I'm going to give you an analogy just to help you guys out. So think of going to a restaurant and the server brings you your drink. When you start sipping, that's like the vacuum. And it also creates the low pressure. As you continue to pull on the straw, the liquid will go into your body. So the atmospheric pressure was the high and you pulling on the straw is the low. So next is the manifold vacuum. And in science, a vacuum is the absence of air. But in automotive, it is the term that's used to describe the condition of lower than atmospheric pressure, which is measured by inches of mercury. So the parts are going to be the fuel line, needle in the seat, the fuel bowl, the float, the vent. The air intake is going to be the main nozzle, which is basically like the straw that I explained to you. And then the throttle plate. And last is going to be the idle mixture screw. So the fuel is going through the fuel line and it lands into the fuel bowl. The float's there to keep the fuel balanced, but the needle in the seat will continue to go up and down depending on if it's high or low. For the vent, it's there in case if the fuel gets overheated or starts boiling, um, it will go through the vent and it will lead to the vapor canister. So my last video, um, I talked about the canister, and if you watched it, um, you'll learn how the canister helps keep the pollution down. So back to the vacuum, um, the cylinder is like a syringe. So if you have like a four-cylinder car, like my Hyundai Elantra, then you'll have four syringes. When you pull on a syringe, it turns into a vacuum, and that's basically how it works with um, a vacuum in a car. So the throttle plate, you're in control. And when you don't accelerate, the vacuum is going to be higher. And because the vacuum is going to be higher, the fuel is going to be drawn towards it. So if you want to adjust the fuel, the idle mixture screw um, will help you with that. If you loosen it, more fuel will come out. But if you tighten it, the less it will be. So that was just the idle mixture screw, how that controls when you're not accelerating. But when you accelerate, that's where it leads to the Venturi effect. So picture this diagram as the body, the uh, mouth, the straw, the lips, and then the neck. So when you're sipping on the straw, you're drawing the liquid, like you're drawing the fuel into the vacuum. As the air goes down, it mixes with the fuel, which uh, powers the engine. So it's basically that simple. And because it's so unique, that's pretty much why I want to share it with you guys today. And I hope that you kind of got an idea and even though it's definitely something different and it's not present today, it definitely means a lot to know what it is. So the last thing I can say is remember to smile, remember to be optimistic, and remember to be positive. Enjoy your day.